Which of the following is a part of the American Massage Therapy Association's Code of Conduct? A. Being able to speak another language. B. Acknowledging the inherent worth and individuality of each person. C. Working with minorities. D. Providing an interpreter when needed. Answer B. Acknowledging the inherent worth and individuality of each person. Which of ACGME's six core competencies for physicians includes sensitivity to a diverse patient population? A. Sympathy. B. Empathy. C. Bilingualism. D. Professionalism. Answer D. Professionalism. Which population is most likely to be uninsured? A. African Americans. B. Foreign citizens. C. Foreign born non citizens. D. Lower income brackets. Answer C. Foreign born non citizens. How is race defined? A. By differences in skin color. B. By differences in cultural practices. C. There is no particular definition, race is a variable and fluid term. D. Societal roles. Answer. C. There is no particular definition, race is a variable and fluid term. All of the following questions are a part of the Kleinman model except. A. What do you call your problem? B. What name does it have? C. What do you think caused your problem? D. What is your perception of your problem? Answer. B. What name does it have? How is a stereotype defined? A. By a client or patient's cultural mannerisms. B. As a preconceived, rigid idea unrelated to experience. C. As a preconceived, rigid idea related to experience. D. There is no particular definition. Stereotype is a variable and fluid term. Answer. B. As a preconceived, rigid idea unrelated to experience. Which of the following is a culturally relative term? A. Traditional. B. Race. C. Ethnicity. D. Culture. Answer. D. Culture. Which factor is considered a health risk? A. Language barriers. B. Minority status. C. Poverty. D. Stereotyping. Answer. C. Poverty. Which is an example of something that interpreters should not be asked to do? A. Keep the LEP client or patient company. B. Accompany the client or patient to make another appointment. C. Asking the patient to summarize what has been said. D. Asking the interpreter to repeat what the patient said. Answer A. Keep the LEP client or patient company. Statistically, out of every 10 professional athletes will suffer an injury that requires professional treatment. A. 1. B. 2. C. 4. D. 6. Answer. B. 2. Which massage technique is not one discussed in this course that can help rehabilitate or prevent sports injuries? A. Cross fiber friction. B. Deep tissue. C. Feathering. D. Trigger point therapy. Answer C. Feathering. When should deep tissue massage be avoided? A. When an athlete is taking medication that prevents blood from clotting. B. When an athlete has plantar fasciitis. 
C. When an athlete has restrictions in deep layers of muscle. D. When an athlete wants a full body massage. Answer A. When an athlete is taking medication that prevents blood from clotting. What temperature should hot stones be to be effective? A. 90 to 120 degrees. B. 110 to 140 degrees. C. 150 to 180 degrees. D. 180 to 200 degrees. Answer B. 110 to 140 degrees. What may occur during the application of myofascial release? A. The athlete may get a headache. B. The fascia may become tenser. C. The fascia will become cold to the touch. D. The fascia will become warm to the touch. Answer D. The fascia will become warm to the touch. Which is not a symptom of an injury's acute phase? A. Inflammation. B. Reduced ROM. C. A headache. D. A visible deformity. Answer C. A headache. Which injury is unique to young athletes that have not yet completed puberty? A. Contusions. B. Hernias. C. Myositis ossificans. D. Broken bones. Answer C. Myositis ossificans. How long should a massage therapist wait before using massage therapy to help rehabilitate a broken clavicle? A. One day for adults. B. One week for adults. C. One month for youth. D. One month for adults. Answer. D. One month for adults. Which stretch is the best stretch for the scalene muscles? A. PNF stretch. B. CRAC stretch. C. AC stretch. D. Passive stretch. Answer. D. Passive stretch. What muscle is often overlooked as a source of lower back pain? A. Lower trapezius. B. Latissimus dorsi. C. Tensor fasciae lady. D. Psoas major. Answer. D. Psoas major. What is an intake form also known as? A. A medical release form. B. A health history questionnaire. C. An informed consent form. D. Soap notes. Answer. B. A health history questionnaire. Which of the following is a guideline for writing client notes when they are not being recorded electronically? A. Use any color ink. B. Write legibly. C. Write everything longhand. D. Use general terminology. Answer. B. Write legibly. Where is the paragraph regarding informed consent located on the intake form? A. At the top. B. In the middle. C. On the bottom. D. On the back. Answer. C. On the bottom. What does SOAP stand for? A. Subjective, Objective, Assessment, Performance. B. Severe, On Occasion, All the Time, Periodically. C. Subjective, Objective, Adjective, Plan. D. Subjective, Objective, Assessment, Plan. Answer. D. Subjective, Objective, Assessment, Plan. When does the verbal portion of the intake process take place? A. Before the client arrives. B. After the massage. 
C. After the intake form has been reviewed. D. There is no verbal portion to the intake process. Answer C. After the intake form has been reviewed. Which is a characteristic of acute pain? A. Dull pain. B. Long lasting or chronic pain. C. Non emergency pain. D. Sharp pain. Answer D. Sharp pain. If a client is taking anti anxiety medication, what kind of pressure does the therapist have to be careful about using? A. Fast pressure. B. Slow pressure. C. Light pressure. D. Deep pressure. Answer D. Deep pressure. Why are assessment tests conducted? A. To see how much pain a client can take. B. To know what can't be massaged. C. To narrow the focus upon what tissues are dysfunctional and how. D. To tell the therapist where to start the massage. Answer C. To narrow the focus upon what tissues are dysfunctional and how. What muscle is the drop arm test used to assess? A. Biceps brachii. B. Triceps brachii. C. Supraspinatus. D. Deltoids. Answer C. Supraspinatus. What does an analgesic do? A. Increase pain. B. Decrease pain. C. Warm soft tissues. D. Harden soft tissues. Answer B. Decrease pain. What is a crucial factor to consider before starting a massage therapy session for a client with a recent injury? A. The client's preference for massage oil or lotion. B. The time of day the session is conducted. C. The severity and stage of the client's injury. D. The type of music played during the session. Answer. C. The severity and stage of the client's injury.